Hi, welcome back with me Plant Do Home and Garden. This time, I'll give you video about 10 stunning summer flower garden border ideas. Well, before go to the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports this channel. Also, you can turn on the bell for more updated videos. Okay, let's go to the video. They say more flowers bloom on the summer solstice than at any other time of the year. Make your summer garden dreams come true with a border packed with annual and perennial favorites. Leave it to the experts at the Oxford Botanic Garden to create the perfect mixed summer border, brimming with a butterfly's buffet of aster, salvia, delphinium, and helenium flowers. Although saliva and aster flowers can tolerate dry conditions, delphinium flowers need consistently moist soil and the yellow helenium flowers like downright juicy conditions. Water your flowers wisely by using soaker hoses that you lay around the thirstiest flowers, or use a rain wand to hand water plants in the morning hours, reducing evaporation. Number 1. Serene Color Palettes for Large Spaces Large flower gardens can get out of control without a clear design to unify the elements. Stick to a simple color palette of two contrasting colors or multiple shades of one color, and you can add more plant varieties without creating an incoherent landscape. Purple butterfly bush, purple salvia, and a white climbing rose stand out in this tidy summer border. Number 2. Pergola smothered in climbing roses. A pergola need be elaborate to attain that wow factor in the flower garden. You can build a simple DIY pergola out of PVC pipe in one weekend, and who will be the wiser once it's covered in Francois Durandville climbing roses like the one in this photo? Climbing roses don't look very pretty at the base, so disguise those thorny canes with a lush underplanting of speedwell or liatris plants, which will complement the roses in the garden as well as in your vase. Number 3. Fragrant Path. This is what flower gardeners wait for in early summer, the first fragrant lavender blooms, complemented by the aroma of sweet alyssum. Include other mounding plants that won't crowd each other out like coreopsis, sedum, or dianthus in full sun areas. Install plants that spill or creep around paths that are seldom used, as bees may get agitated by frequent passers-by. Number 4. Casual Wildflowers. There are many reasons to explore native plants in the summer border, including ease of maintenance and the ability to attract pollinators like honeybees and butterflies. Wildflowers include summer favorites like these bellflowers and Johnson's Blue Cranes Bill Hardy geraniums. Other top performing native wildflowers for summer borders include butterfly wheat, coneflower, bee balm, and penstemon. Number 5. Cottage Style. The tall wands of Verbena bonariensis pair with baby's breath in this easy, breezy summer cottage garden. One person's casual can be another's chaos, so keep the shears handy to remove spent flowers in late summer. Deadheading can also control the unwanted spread of volunteers, which keeps closely packed flower borders from turning into a tangled mass of species. Number 6. Make it formal. Formal gardens are not usually noted for their abundance of flowers, but when used with restraint, blooms can add color and texture to not gardens. Even the most austere evergreen hedge can use a bit of softening from the presence of a few tidy roses trained into tree form, also known as standards. A successful flower garden needn't be brought into bounds to conform with the typical notion of a formal garden. Instead of adding some flowers to an existing formal garden, you can also add some formal elements to an existing flower garden. The addition of concrete statuary and a boxwood hedge changes the tone of a cheerful flower garden, bringing order to the floral abundance. Number 7. Bold Accent Colors. Just as you don't have to rely on a few throw pillows to carry the color burden of your entire living room, nor do you need to count on the on-again slash off-again blooming cycle of your flowering plants to provide constant color in the garden. It's okay to go against the grain of the natural color trend for fences and borders in the landscape. Instead of fading into the background, this raised bed stands out as a key design element when painted a vibrant fuchsia hue. Number 8. Ornamental Foliage. 
Plants with burgundy foliage fill in the gap between blooming cycles in your summer flower border. The fact that plants like purple emperor sedum also produce flowers is a big bonus. Other handsome burgundy-leaved flowers to try in the sunny border include hardy hibiscus summer storm and calico aster prince. Number 9. The Power of Repetition. It's fun and tempting to buy a variety of new plants at the nursery in the spring, but great garden design can happen with just a few select cultivars. Repetition is pleasing to the eye and makes you look like a garden pro. In addition, sticking to a simple color palette of pinks and purples reduces visual overload. Far from being boring, this garden relies on a few pops of chartreuse in the form of evergreens for contrast. Number 10. Contrasting Textures. The plumes of a purple smoke tree, Cotinus pagigria species, makes a fascinating backdrop in this flower garden that features a healthy stand of coneflowers. In spite of its tropical appearance, the smoke tree is hardy in most gardens, tolerating temperatures down to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit in the brief zone for a growing zone. Thanks for watching my video about 10 stunning summer flower garden border ideas. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports our channel. Well, see you in the next videos.